Okay, what do we think about this hair? Is it too, do we need it a little more flowy for this? I once had someone tell me they unfollowed me because I didn't put my hair up in cute ways anymore. <laughs> so if that gives you any indication on what it's like to put yourself out online. Okay, this won't last very long. Should I like pin this up or something? I feel like, okay, does this look a little better? Should I take a clip or something? How does that? There's knots, there's a mat in here. I haven't really brushed my hair in a while. I hate it. It's good enough. Well, hello. I have some very exciting stuff to share with you today because I'm doing a giveaway for you. You know, I thought about doing like a Mother's Day giveaway, but then I decided, well, let's just do a summer giveaway because not everyone is a mother and I like that better. We're celebrating everyone. I'm celebrating your friendship. I'm celebrating life because every day is a day to celebrate. And boy, oh boy. Okay, so this past weekend, I went to TJ Maxx with the girls and we're having like a girls day. We went thrifting and TJ, we had smoothies. When I say we, I mean them. I'm not a smoothie gal. And my gosh, seven hot dollars. I was gonna say $700. $7.50 for a smoothie before tax. What the heck? Are, what are they putting in these smoothies? Gold? Anyway, I think that's part of the reason why I'm not a smoothie gal. My friend in middle school always had smoothies. Anyway, we're getting off topic. <laughs> we went there and we were shopping around and I thought, oh, what about this? Wouldn't this be cute for a giveaway, for a future giveaway? I was saying I wasn't expecting it to be so soon, but heck, don't wait to live your life, right? So I started collecting some things and then I had a good stash of stuff. And then this morning I thought, well, let me just go to Home Goods and see what they have. And uh, well, I bought a lot more stuff from Home Goods. <laughs> and honestly, the stuff I got from Home Goods, I'm like, uh, this could be a giveaway all in its own, but I'm gonna give it all to you. I also bought a few things for myself, I'm not gonna lie. And a few of these things are for the girls. So I'm going to take everything out and uh, show you the loot and try to organize this crap, okay? There's a lot of bags. I just like you so much. Ooh, <laughs> Okay, I forgot I got a lot of this stuff. Is this for me or for you? Well, I get, oh, oh wait, this one's for me. You know where else I went? Ulta. Where is it? Here it is. So I'm excited to show you what's in this little bag. A little bag never costs so much. Ooh, some graduation gifts. Graduation is right now. A lot of family members graduating and stuff. Ooh, a receipt. Oh my gosh, there are like five items here. This is how big the receipt is. The cost does not reflect. <gasps> oh, I got a good one, a good one. Oh, and candles. <laughs> Ooh. I let my guard down and I did buy some candles. I don't think I bought myself any candles, but I bought you at least one maybe two i don't remember i think my kids also snuck some stuff in the cart you know how they are oh we're all wrapped up because we're having a good time oh wait one more back <laughs> Woo! that's a breakable okay i still need to um categorize but real quick, I wanna share with you the giveaway rules. Listen, it's real simple. All you have to do is comment below. That's it. And be my friend, really. Be kind to me, okay? Let me maybe ask you a question to answer. Oh, I've got a callus from chopping food so much. Ugh, it's gross. You want my skin in the giveaway? That's not the question. <laughs> what is one TV show that you would wanna be in? And why, of course, you have to elaborate. Or don't, short story long, you don't have to do all that. Just tell me, you can really say anything. Any comment will get you entered. And if you are the winner, I will pick a winner one week from today. And I will reply to you, okay? It won't be my profile picture with like Telegram crap. I don't have a Telegram. I won't ask you for money. I won't ask you for anything except for you to email me. And then, oh my gosh, I'm gonna give you some money. I'm gonna do, let's do $100 this time because I got a lot of stuff and I will Venmo you that right away so you'll know it's me and then I'll ask for your address to send you all of the goodies, okay? So if, I know, is the spam still going on? Like how do people have time to spam these days? Is it all robots? I don't know, but please, if it is spam, please try to realize the difference. I'm not gonna ask for your phone number. I'm not gonna ask for like you to, text me or anything, okay? It won't have anything to do with Telegram. It will be my YouTube profile with the wads with my verification mark, okay? And uh, that's that, that will be that. Any comment will get you entered in the giveaway. It's very simple. All you have to do is be my friend over here and that's about it. All right, so where should I begin? 
Oh, I got a bathing suit. It's not for you. <laughs> I did want to get you some socks or something, but um, I couldn't find any. Like what? Come on. It's like Mother's Day. The Mother's Day gifts they've got going on right now. I just can't. Mm -mm, I can't. All right. Well, listen, I got you some random stuff. I'm going to separate it right now. My pile versus your pile. Oh, can I get you a hat? Cool. Well, now I'm sifting through the items and like things got weird. All right. Steak knives. <laughs> Steak knives. <laughs> Why did I get these for you? I don't know, but I know I got them from you. I I know I was thinking, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say about it. Can I even ship this to you? Is that allowed? Is that dangerous? It's a set of six, steak knife set, four to five inch blades. You guys, I just thought the colors were so cute. And I thought your steak knives might be dull. I don't, don't ask me questions, okay? That's what I got you. So if that gives you any indication on the randomness I threw in here, there's that. I will say, Perfume, good one, questionable. If you don't wear perfume, that's cool. I don't really wear perfume, but I like to smell it every once in a while. And you guys know for the last giveaway, I got this thing of lotion, this philosophy, and the scent was falling in love. And I tried to look for it on the internet, like Google it, it to see who sold it. I don't know if I got anywhere with that. It doesn't really matter because I did find it at the max. Falling in love. You know, Mother's Day, they always have like a bunch of perfumes around there. So it's two ounces of perfume and it smells so perfect. I love it. I also love a Grace or something like that. Amazing Grace or something. Um, and uh, <laughs> they had two of them. <laughs> so I thought it was the perfect way best friends can smell alike, right? Okay, so one for you, one for me. And I'm really excited about this. I'm actually going to pop it open All right now. I have been impatiently waiting. I can never find scissors in my house. Ah, I have like a love-hate relationship with perfume because like chemicals and stuff, but also <laughs> chemicals never taste, smelled so good. It smells so, so fresh, so nice. I'm like, I have a baby on me most of the time. Oh my gosh, so I don't like to like put a lot of stuff on me. I'm normally all natural. It's just, it's very delicate. It's very mild. So I really like this one and I hope you like it too. If you don't, you can pass it off to anyone else in your life that you think will like it. Okay, next, I found this one this morning and out with the Stanley, in with the Hydroflow Capri. I thought about ordering a Stanley for you and then I thought, we don't care about labels. I mean, you might, I don't know. I don't care about labels. Um, I did put a Stanley in one of my giveaways and I don't, I don't understand the hype. I just don't understand, I don't know. Anyway, um, this one is better than a Stanley. Do you know why? Because it's 50 ounces. The Stanley's 40, right? Anyway, and it could still fit in a cup holder because I use air quotes because my Stanley dupe, I don't know, I got it from TJ Maxx for like $16. It doesn't fit in my stroller cup holder, but it fits in my car cup holder. So there's that. And then also this is bigger and we know that we need to hydrate, okay? And it was a little more expensive. Less than a Stanley, but more than what I paid. But it's for you, so I had to do it. Hope you enjoy it. It's a, I don't know, it's, it's gray like my soul it'll cheer us up okay I'm, I'm over the hair okay what else oh this i love this i saw oh there's always a story isn't there what is this for oh my gosh a bottle opener risque you guys know i love a good cooler i found a cooler at home goods this morning and i put it in my cart and then i found this and i was like uh, i'm pretty sure you're gonna like this even more it is not only an amazing print flamingos is are you joking it's a backpack Look, it's a backpack cooler. It's a cooler backpack. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. I used to always have a cooler backpack. One, it keeps your back cool. And two, makes you look cool. I'm trying to tighten it. And I mean, food readily accessible right there. So I thought this was just amazing and perfect. And you're gonna love it. All your activities that you're doing during the summertime, going to the pool, going to the lake, going to the splash pad, you're going to theme parks, you're going to bush gardens, you're going to Adventure Island, you're going to the park. I don't know where else we're going, but you guys know we always have to have snacks. So I figured that would be an amazing find. And you know what else you need to pack in there too? Maybe you're gonna need a towel. I found this too, this was new. I was talking to the cashier and she said, these items, most of these items you got just came in. And I was like, oh my gosh, amazing. This is a towel. I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, in that little sack, a full towel? Heck yes it is. <laughs> Did I break it? I don't know, whatever. You would have had to break it too to open it up. Maybe not. I'm sorry I broke it. And this is why we can't have nice 
things. Check this out. Okay, so these are all the rage these days. Even last year, I looked into getting them. It's love bug season here. There's love bugs all over. Oh my gosh. And you know, I saw a meme that was like, <laughs> Floridians are more upset about love bug season than they are about hurricane season and that tells you all you need to know about Floridians Okay, anyway, they're everywhere. They get everywhere. They're all over our car man. It's such a pain in the butt Okay, so these are all the rage these towels could can you believe this is like a full-size huge honking towel? Does it even have a little strap on here? Oh my gosh, look at this. You can hang it up to dry. I will probably buy some of these myself I might head back up to home goods and get them because they're so, they fold so flat. They're supposed to be very absorbent and quick drying, right? That's what all the uh, reviews say on Amazon. Anyway, they sell similar ones on Amazon, but I'm always iffy. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just bought beach towels last year, but whenever I pack them, oh my gosh, you guys, I have to pack an entire bag just for towels. They're, each towel is this big folded. And I'm like, uh, this is so big. So anyway, these, and they're quick drying and they're convenient and they're, it's a nice size, so I thought you try it out for me, and if you love it, you let me know, and I'm gonna buy them for the rest of my family. They are not cheap, but like beach towels aren't cheap either. I mean, they're like, they're $13. I think this was $13, yeah. Just as much as a beach towel, I feel like. So that's exciting. What else is exciting? Okay, this is exciting. Everyone should have flowers every once in a while. So I thought, oh, sorry, this says flowers for Nana. <laughs> you don't have to keep this flowers for Nana, but look how darling they are. And I just thought they were so sweet. You see them? Look how sweet that is. I thought everyone should have some flowers. They don't smell, but they are pens. Oh, they're like stuck in there, but you, you know, you get it, they're pens. I didn't want to send you cauliflower, which is my favorite flower. So I figured I'd send you some of these and it would make you happy. And you know what you could use them for? Your notepad. I found this really rad notepad for you and I just thought it was perfect. Vogue, it was fashion, it was you. It really reminded me of you when I saw it, honestly. And so I got it for you. If they would have had two, I would have bought one for myself. You guys know how much I love a good notebook. And then, you might think this is boring, but I thought it was amazing. Hold on, it's three key, isn't it three pieces? Didn't I get you three things? Oh, maybe this. No, I got you something else, where is it? Okay, so the box is a little wonky on this one, but just hang tight. They, they, they only had a couple sets, and the boxes were both torn up, so sorry that my gift doesn't look perfect. But it's just like a visual representation of me, right? It's like ripping and stuff. Anyway, I thought these were fun. A set of 20 reusable kitchen towels. So instead of constantly, oh, oh my God, my towel. Oh, what the hell just happened? I think I broke it. All right, I'm okay. Okay, so 20 reusable kitchen towels. The prints are so dang cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, I try, was trying to refrain. It looks like someone took this out, so I'm just gonna take it out too. Uh -huh. They're just little cloths that you can clean, reuse. You guys know I'm all about reusing stuff and stuff, and these are way cuter than the cleaning rags that I have, so I thought you might enjoy them, okay? It's like whenever you go to grab a paper towel, you can grab one of these kind of thing. And it's just always nice to have like, you know, more cleaning cloths. Be eco-friendly, save the planet, save your stuff, I don't know. And then I saw these for the first time in my life. It's from the same brand, Eco something, whatever that says, Eco Circa. But these are like reusable sponges. <laughs> now that I'm saying that out loud, I'm like, um, my sponges are reusable? I don't know. How long will this last? Will it last forever? Apparently it won't last forever because it comes in a pack of five. But again, the prints on these are really cute. Did I so show you? The prints are adorable. You joking? I need to paint my nails. It's fine. I'm just, it's that, that season of life, I can't. I, I'm doing my best over here. So, scrubby pads. There's a scrub on one side and a soft on the other. And I thought, you know what? I really think you're gonna like that. And then I found uh, these. Set of four cotton dishcloths and I have something like this that my aunt made she crocheted them or something anyway these I thought were really sweet prints and like who doesn't love a good dishcloth like you might not you might be using the same old crusty dishcloth that you've had in your previous life so maybe it's time for a new one and I thought I would get that for you okay random but true this is exciting where's the other part to this here it is it fell apart I don't know what's happening, but all the packages <laughs> that uh, home goods were failing. Anyway, it's a bowl. It doesn't have a pour spout and it doesn't have a handle, but 
I almost didn't buy it for you. And then I realized, well, it's not, it's also not cats. So it's like three strikes against it and the box was broken. But for whatever reason, I just thought, you know what, the winner of this giveaway, I bet you will have a dog or loves dogs or I don't know, maybe has a friend who loves dogs and needs to give it to a friend. It does say dog mom on the inside. And then it also comes with a spatula and a couple of cookie cutters. And I thought that was so stinking cute. I just like the dog print. I was actually looking for a cat because I like cats. I also like dogs. We don't have either, so I'm not really partial to either one, but oh my gosh, that like little puppy print. Please make me some cookies and send them to me, okay? Oh, okay. I also saw these at Home Goods when I was with the girls and we popped into Home Goods to grab some cards. We were actually looking for teacher gifts. I got them gift cards, but I also wanted to get them a little something extra just to like have a vessel to give them the cards in. Anyway, it turned out it just it got too out of hand because there are eight teachers, actually nine teachers that I bought for, actually 11. <laughs> I'm going back and thinking, yeah, I got 11 gift cards. Woo, a lot of money, but I do appreciate our, their teachers so much. Oh my gosh, they do so much for my kids and I just love them so much. So anyway, I was trying to look for something extra and then I did the math. I was like, okay, if I get something that's like five bucks for each of them, that adds up really quick. And especially since I already like, you know, the bulk of the gift is the gift card, you know? Spent a lot of money on those. So anyway, I ended up finding a pack of cards that were, that was really cute. It said best teacher ever or something like that. And then the, the kids wrote inside the card. So I thought that's perfect, good enough, perfect vessel. And it wasn't like $3 a piece. I finally found a pack of cards. So I thought I hit the jackpot when I found those at Home Goods. But while we were in the checkout, you guys know the checkout at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, those places, they're riddled with all the cool things. So. My daughter, Eleanor, has been asking for freeze-dried Skittles. And when you know, that's exactly what we found. I didn't know they were, were gonna look like this, I don't know. I actually asked someone about them the other day. These are freeze-dried, so they're like crunchy. I don't know, crunchy, but soft. You're supposed to smell. Actually, I don't know a lot about them. I had one and I was like, not for me, I don't know. Glad I had one, glad I experienced it. So maybe you'll enjoy this in your life. I know they're kind of all the rage. Just like, you know, I guess maybe a year ago they were trending. So now for me, I'm finally getting wind of it. So anyway, I saw these at Home Goods and they had two packs. If you're wondering, we didn't bust yours open. We <laughs> opened one. And at first the girls were like, one for each of us. And I was like, um, keep dreaming because that's not gonna happen. One for my friends and one for you guys to share. So they've been sharing it and having a good old time. And then some for you too. And I also grabbed, I don't know why I grabbed these, but ooh, the, see the stickers off of this one too. I promise I didn't open it. A sprinkle mix. Summertime is always a good time to have some sprinkles and have a party. It's always a good time for a sprinkle party. Look at all those about to chip your freaking tooth off. It is super fun for the kids to decorate stuff with these. So I thought <clears throat> I would grab those for you too. Sprinkles are weirdly expensive. I don't know. I also grabbed this from Home Goods for ya. And okay, so it's kind of a running joke, inside joke with the girls and I, because when we were thrift store shopping, I was like, oh, I found a Lily Pulitzer piece and whatever. So they were like, oh, look, mom, it's a Lily Pulitzer. So they're like making fun of me. Uh, anyway, so we found this at Home Goods, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get that. I think it's a puzzle. Yeah, okay, sorry. It is a 500 piece puzzle set. I apologize in advance. But look how fun it is. Let's get together, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, why don't you and I come by? Our family movie night this past weekend was Parent Trap and it was great. I forgot how awesome that movie is. So anyway, if you put this together, send me a picture. I'd love to see it. I'm so bad at puzzles. Okay, more random stuff. I got you some leave-in cream conditioner. This has a flamingo on it and I thought, well, what says summertime like a flamingo? And I had something from this brand, Foxy Bay, a while ago, and it smells really good. So I hope you enjoy that. Leave some conditioner in your hair to condition it because the harsh sun, whatever you're doing this summertime, unless you live in Australia, isn't it like winter while we have our summer for them? Whatever, you can use it still. <gasps> candles, I forgot. Okay, look what they wrap the candles in. The weirdest stuff I've ever seen. Oh yeah, okay. So, I what is this one? This one looks really small. I don't think I meant to get this one, but okay. Maybe I did, I don't know. Did I mean to get this one? <laughs> Woo! 
Oh my gosh, okay, this is for Eleanor, sorry. And one more over here. What's inside? What's inside? Okay, I did, I definitely meant to get this one. The rest questionable. Actually, this is like wafting toward me. You guys know how much I love DW candles. Wouldn't that be amazing if in the future we did like a DW candle partnership? Oh, that's why this one's wafting. It doesn't have like a proper close. Sure. This is one I haven't seen before. It's from the DW and it's watermelon lime fizz and it's like in the shape of a I don't know soda can. What is this? Salsa water? I don't know what it is. Watermelon fizz, lime fizz. It's soda pop. It's always fresh. Never frozen. And this smells like summertime to me. It smells like the Smucker's lip gloss. Just watermelon. Like artificial watermelon. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's for you. I'm pumped. And then oh this one's for you, obviously. I meant to get this one. This is Beach Day. Man, I love DW candles. They have the weirdest scents, but also the best scents. Like, it smells exactly like Beach Day. It is strong on the SPF, but that's what I like about it. That's what reminds me of Beach Days. So I thought you might like that too. And then, you guys know I've been really craving some lavender. Oh, it's lovely. I So I think you might enjoy this too. This is the Lavender Cooler. It's from DW. And it's freshly blended aroma. It doesn't have a top, but oh my gosh, this smells incredible. I can't wait for you to burn it. And then I guess I got this one. Maybe I'll keep this one. It's fresh lemon. They have one that's, said, that's labeled clean kitchen. I don't know what a clean kitchen is supposed to smell like, but apparently it's something like this. It's very lemony, the clean kitchen scent. And this one is similar to that. You guys, I have so many candles. There is no reason for me to have any more candles. I might just give this one to you too. I don't know, it's little, I might keep it. If the box gets full, I might leave this one out. That's all I'm saying, okay? <laughs> but wait, there's more. Wait, did I get this for you or for me? I don't know, probably for you. Well, ah, it's not candle so I think that's how I justified it okay more for you though here we go I got you a grocery bag I was trying to find a bag that said like Florida or sunshine or but without actually saying the words because there were so many bags that I saw with words on them and I was like is this trend over I don't know and then um, I saw this one and I thought well this is kind of perfect I I liked the print I liked the flowers look we're all friends hanging out just picking wildflowers and so oh wait is it flowers or vegetables whatever we're doing I don't know one gal has vegetables I'll be her you be the rest of them and uh, it's like a nice quality cloth tote and it's not a small one so like it has the you know, it has like the bottom to it. I don't know how to, to explain. Some of them are garbage and they don't have a bottom and you're like, what the heck am I gonna hold in here? A loaf of bread. I might be the only person to get annoyed over a reusable grocery bag. But I thought, I mean, you could use this go into the pool, put all your towels in it. How many towels would this fit? A hundred? Are, are you and a hundred of your friends going to the pool? I got you. You're gonna have to get 99 more towels though, okay? I'm just saying. Anyway, this was $6. If it was for me, I would not buy it. But for you, I would buy it. $6 for a grocery bag? It's cute though. Just saying. Is it $6 cute? Don't ask me. And then I found this one at the checkout and I thought that's more my style because it is $1. The quality, if that tells you anything. But it does have a nice bottom. See the bottom? What do the sides say? Ugh. The size, it's from, it's 100% reusable. <laughs> oh, why did they put that on there? That's ridiculous. This bag contains at least 30% recycled material. That's funny. Anyway, I just think this is great. Um, whenever I bring like food to people, I always try to put it in a bag like this because I know it's like only a dollar. They can keep it, they can reuse it, all that good stuff. It's like a gift inside of a gift. And uh, so here we are. I like the print of this one. Uh, look, it's me and our two friends. Because we're the three best friends that... And okay, a few more things for you. And don't ask me how the heck I'm going to pack this. But I just couldn't pass it up. It's wrapping paper. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, is this a gift? Yes. Wrapping paper is a gift. Especially when it has flamingos wearing party hats. Are you joking? This is amazing. I could not pass this up. I had to have it for you, of course. For me, I'm like, I don't, what do I need it for? But for you, I'm like, you definitely need this in your life. I know that you need to wrap things 
and uh, you're always out of wrapping paper. So here you go, I got you covered. Hopefully I can find a box big enough to facilitate that. And then I figured, well, you know what, you need some kitchen towels. If you don't live in America, I'm sorry. It doesn't like say USA on it, but it's like 4th of July style kitchen towels, but there's cats. And I thought this is hilarious, too hilarious to pass up. Um, it also has like this blue one, a nice quality. I like these, they're actually absorbent. They're not like the tea towels that are garbage and like you try to wipe something up, but really all you're doing is smearing it around the counter. So I think you're gonna get some good use out of this and I hope you enjoy it. If you don't like cats, just uh, use the other side, I don't know. I also grabbed you a hat. I don't know why, but it was breathable. You gotta keep that sun out of your face during the summertime fun. All the summertime fun you're gonna be having. It's the Target brand, it's like DM or something. I don't know much about that brand. I did have a yoga mat with that brand and it's pretty nice. But the hat itself is like nice, lightweight, breathable. It's a light color, so I think you're going to enjoy it. Kinda like I'm enjoying this perfume. It Reminds me something of my childhood. Like I got a set of Ariel lotion and body wash when I was like seven. And this is what it smells like to me. Amazing. Okay, I got you a lot more. So speaking of summertime fun, I always like to include a little treat in there. So you can, it's like instant gratification that you can just open your box and just start eating while you're going through all your other goodies. I got you some watermelon gummies. <laughs> and my kids were with me and they were like, wait, why can't we have watermelon gummies? And I was like, well, um, my friends are cooler than you. Gummy watermelons, bursting with fruity flavors. Our gummies are soft in texture and sweet in taste. Cool. I also grabbed this for you. You guys, random, I'm telling you. Bees Wrap, it's reusable food storage. I see this all the time on like Thrive Market and stuff like this. I've seen it going around. I don't wanna like open it, but I do wanna open it to show you. There's like sheets of Bees Wrap bees wrap, did I say that right? And then the more you use it, you like put it over bowls and it'll kind of like stick to the bowl and you can put it in your fridge. Instead of using cling wrap or plastic wrap, you use this instead, essentially. That's the swap. This is eco-friendly. Oh, it's the bees wax. My aunt used to make bees wax candles. And then I found some of these and I thought, that would be cool to have. But instead of buying them for myself, I bought them for you. Look, little scrapers. Isn't that cool? You can scrape up your counter. You can use one to scrape up the floor. You know, when, when I go around and clean my floors, I always have a little scraper like this with me. Well, mine's big. But um, it's nice to have so you can like scrape up those little messes that your mop isn't getting. It's just cool to carry one of these around. You can clean your counters with it. This is non-toxic, heat resistant, dishwasher safe. Cool stuff in this package. I, you guys, I swear. I don't know what I was thinking, but maybe you wanted one of these. I don't ask me, I don't really know. I don't even use lint rollers. You know, in my mind, I think everyone has their life together except for me. And like everyone's lint rolling themselves and I don't know, not looking all disheveled when they leave the house. And it's like a forever lint roller. I don't, just, let's move on. I grabbed you, California. Wait, no, how, what's the tune? California dreaming on a winter's day. I pass along the way. A little out of hand there. Isn't there something about the leaf? Something about a brown leaf in there? That song always reminds me of Kelly Clarkson. Also reminds me of my sister, because I'm pretty sure she used to sing it. And then also <laughs> reminds me of Kelly Clarkson because when she was on American Idol, she sang that song like as a group. Oh man, she smashes. I used to have the American Idol first season on DVD and like replayed it all the time. I was like, Mer Kelly Clarkson is amazing. <laughs> anyway, I grabbed these for you. It has nothing to do with that song. It's just called California Dreamin'. They are emery boards. Hey, are you keeping the shape of your nails? No? Well, maybe you will now. All right, that is everything. Hoot dog for you. That's everything for you. And if you ask me, that's a large amount of loot right there. All of that and $100 through Venmo or PayPal cash that I can just send you unless you want it in a gift card and then I can um, add it to this box with you. But fair warning, it takes me a few weeks to get the box out. <laughs> if you have a Venmo or PayPal, I do that same day that I select you that you tell me your Venmo information. So anyway, that is it for the giveaway. If you want to enter, just leave a comment below and tell me what TV sitcom you want to be in? What did I say? You want to be? Just answer that. I don't know. Okay, now on to sharing the stuff that I got for my kids slash myself slash mostly my kids and some gifts. But first, 
what I got from Ulta. This is what I'm most excited about. Okay, so when I shared my shaving oil, it's in this scent, Tropic Glow. And I told you guys, it smells like the Bum Bum Cream. It smells so dang good. And I wish they had a body spray. Well, I think they do have a body spray for this. But then I had just bought the, uh, you know, the Grace, whatever this is, Philosophy, Falling in Love. And I thought, well, what are the chances I'm gonna use either of them? Well, pretty low. So then I was like, well, I use body wash all every time I shower, which is hardly. Oh, that's it. Okay, at my Target, they don't sell the body wash in this scent, the Tropic Glow, but they do at Ulta. So I swung into Ulta, grabbed it, and I'm happy about it. It's actually very shimmery and goldeny. So I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna wash my, oh God, oh, that's a lot. I'm gonna test it out and wash my hands, and then I'll be able to tell you if the shim, oh wow, this is, thick. I'll let you know if the shimmer washes off or makes you shimmery forever, which I don't know. I'm kind of digging it both ways. Well, 10 out of 10 smells divine and doesn't leave any residue, but it does leave the scent. Oh, that is heavenly. And I like that stuff. Hydrating oil complex, sparkling gel wash. Oh, and it firms and tones. I don't believe it. I got a uh, bathing suit. Don't ask me why I got a bathing suit. Mostly because I'm just trying to freshen things up. Did I even get my size? Oh, embarrassing. I don't think this is gonna fit. Dang it. I'm gonna try. I'll try. I like the sunflowers and I thought that, whatever. That's fine, that's fair. I'll figure it out. <laughs> and then I got a hammock. So it's all about summertime fun over here. I almost got you a hammock, but then I was like, well, what if they live in an apartment? What if they don't have trees to put it on? What, you know, all these what ifs. There's actually so many things that I wanted to buy you. Those Vogue pictures were on sale. I mean, $20 off, but still like 60 bucks. I wanted to get one of those for you. And then I was like, remember that last time that I shipped a picture to someone and it literally cost me more to ship it. I could have bought a plane ticket and delivered it myself. And if you think I'm joking, I'm not. I shipped two boxes and it was more than a plane ticket. Maybe not these days, okay? It's been a couple of years. But anyway, what else was there that I wanted to snag for you. I don't know, I may have grabbed a couple of pictures or maybe not, but there were so many things where I thought, oh, should I? Yes, no, in my head, it's just so hard. And then I end up picking like a lint roller. Come on. I just try my best over here, that's all I do. But I did grab a hammock for us. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's great for indoor and outdoor use. Comfortable relaxation tree anchored hammock. So, you know, I don't know how to hang these up. It's low maintenance. The, we did have one out here and the kids love it. They love playing in it. They love lounging in it, mostly playing with it and like doing all that stuff. But um, after a while it gets weathered because we just left it out. And uh, so anyway, it didn't last forever. This one seems to be a little different quality. So I'm hoping this one lasts a little longer, but it seems really nice and I'm excited to throw it in the backyard. And then this one, I got goggles for the kids. They were with me at TJ Maxx, so they got a few things, and I said, well, can I show my friends first? <laughs> and Eleanor picked these out because they have like sprinkles on them or sparkles. Anyway, also comes with a snorkel. She likes a nose piece in her goggles. Avelina likes it without. I also found a pack of four goggles on Amazon. So for reference, this is $8 and these were $6. And on Amazon, the four pack, I forgot how much it is, but I'll put it here. I wanna say around $15 for four. And I was like, that is a screaming deal, especially because goggles break over time, you know, and then we always have extra people with us who want goggles too and I'm like I, I don't know I don't know my buzz over here I got food I don't have any goggles so I might buy those um, and then I grabbed a couple of graduation cards took me a while also to pick out graduation cards I don't I found really classy looking ones but I was like um I just want to be fun right I know they're like whatever old and graduating and whatever so one of my nieces is graduate got her bachelor's and then one of my nephews is graduating high school so it's just really exciting why is this one three dollars and this one is 350 maybe this one has more detail on it or something i don't like that at all but uh the real gift is obviously the money i'm gonna put inside because <laughs> i asked like what do they want obviously all graduates want money that's gonna be their graduation cards i also found these i think meredith is oh it also comes with a pen okay meredith is gonna really enjoy these for summertime we do you guys have seen my summer checklist before and before they get on electronics i always try to do like 
have them check off the list like have you done a chore have you done some schoolwork type of schoolwork anything to keep their minds going during the summertime lull so they don't forget everything that they learned and just keeping them on track right so we do ixl on our on their they have it on their iPads. They used to have it on their computers. They still have it on the computers. It's a website, but I also downloaded the app. So it's on their iPads. And so they get that and they do some of that, but I also always like to have something that's tangible too. So for Meredith, um, I get like a workbook for each of them. Although I don't think last year I got one for Avelina. She's like phasing out, right? Cause she's in middle school or whatever. But, um, these, I got flashcards for her and it's for her to practice her letters and writing and I think it's so great. She's starting pre-K three in the fall and everyone around here is really pumped about it. Okay, I also grabbed, um, Avelina wanted this. It's an ear pod case, I don't know. She also loves ramen, which I never buy it for her. I ended up buying the like fancy, healthier ramen from Costco. So she's enjoying that but She's been wanting this too. She actually actually asked for something similar to this. It was either this or a squash mallow or something for uh, Christmas and her birthday, but I couldn't find anything. So she found it, of course, with her little stealthy eyes. And then Eleanor got this. Oh, I think she got this for a friend and then she got this for herself. They were each $7. And this is, I guess, limited edition. And I liked it because it's Marie. It's the cat from Disney, from Aristocats. The Aristocats. This is like cinnamon roll lip gloss, and then this is some kind of hand cream. This is for her friend. I don't really know. Strawberry cake hand cream. <laughs> gonna get a lot of use out of that, and then this is really cute. She's probably gonna leave it in her purse. Okay, and then I guess Eleanor, she wanted this perfume. It's hibiscus sugar. The jar looks really pretty. She said she just liked it because she wanted to leave it out in her room, and I was like, okay, whatever. It does smell really nice, because we were sniffing some stuff. And then Avelina found these hair vitamins she's been asking for like vitamins for her nails mostly and i saw these i ordered biotin gummies off of amazon over a week ago where are they what is up with amazon it, i'm pretty sure it said like one day shipping and i went back and i ordered something like before i had the baby and it was supposed to be here like i don't know the next day or two days whatever shipping and it's been six months seven months and it wasn't here and so it said like in transit or in process or lost in the mail. I don't remember what it said, but it was lost. So I had to like go back and have them reorder it. Anyway, it came. I don't even need it anymore. But anyway, same with my vitamins. So I'm gonna have to check on those. But I found these Sugar Bear. I don't know anything about these, but I'm pretty sure they were cheaper at Home Goods than they were if I just ordered them off Amazon and stuff. They're $17 for a one month supply. So Less than a dollar a day, and I figured, okay, I'll give this a try. Take two a day for hair. I wonder if it's also good for her nails. Vitamin C, biotin, and folic acid. Okay, so just a, a vitamin. I'm, I'm hoping it'll be for her nails. And then I got this. I'm using, when I go to the beach, I put on the Copper Tone Glow, and it's like a shimmery thing. I don't know, it just makes it fun for me, you know? I'm always so invested on like making everything fun for the kids and all of that. Well, you know, sometimes mom needs to have a little fun too. So I put this on, I like the shimmer. I like it. I like the glitter in it too. It has just as a hint, just a little like, sun kiss when you put it on and you're, I don't know I feel nice about it I don't do a lot of stuff like that so anyway I grabbed this one as a spray one the one I have is a lotion one and I actually last time we went to the beach a couple weeks ago I left it in the bag and I pulled it up and it like pulled open and half of it like came, and I was like oh my god I'm like, so I saw this spray and I thought well maybe that will be a little better okay um, one of the kids wanted white nail polish don't ask me questions I don't have answers to and then we ran out of our cards always like to keep cards on hand for a birthday party or like a thank you note or whatever so this is just a little box of 10 note cards and i always keep extra gift cards on hand too that's just my little hack i used to keep baskets of like random gifts in my closet for birthday par unexpected birthday parties and stuff like that but now that the kids are getting older like it's hard to know who's gonna like what different age ranges but guess what gift cards work for everyone so i, I keep a little uh stack in my junk drawer if you want to raid that when you come over and then i if someone needs a gift perfect 
throw it in there, write a card, bada boom, you're good to go. I also grabbed this, did I? Oh, summertime fun, you guys, a bingo playset. This is Melissa and Doug, fun to explore. And I thought this would be fun for the kids. It's like a reusable bingo set. It's a nature set. It's kind of like, you know, get out in nature, a scavenger hunt, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like a little scavenger hunt for the kids and I just thought that was fun and it comes with some activities too. So I gotta get on my camp mom game over here. And then I grabbed this citrus and mint. It's like a bubble bath. It's a shampoo bubble. Ooh, that smells so good. I love this everyone brand. It's shampoo, body wash, and bubble bath. Citrus and mint all in one and I like it. We go through a lot of bubble bath over here, okay? And then Avelina wanted this to put her bracelets and necklaces on so she actually handmade one of these <laughs> because one day she asked for one and I was like you know obviously I'm like you don't need everything you know what I mean so she was like mom I need it and I was like you don't need everything so she went and she made <laughs> her own and so she puts her bracelets on it and I was like okay well since you've been using that for a while I guess we'll we'll upgrade you okay and listen I buy my kids a lot so don't think that like I'm over here and not buying them stuff this was $17 for this so she better freaking use it. She has th uh, something for her necklaces that I bought her. So. Anyway, uh, this snuck in the cart. For whatever reason, Avelina thought this would be perfect for us. Uh, no, we're never going to use them. It's like drink place markers. So if you have a drink and like I have the green toucan, whatever that is. And so I'll, I'll put the toucan on my drink. So it's like a marker to let me know which drink belongs to who. But guess what? The kids will probably forget what color they had. And I was like, I'm not buying that. But it ended up in the cart anyway. And Eleanor saw, or Meredith saw it and she, oh my gosh, that's, um, this is a cork for wine. We don't drink anything but that's really funny um meredith saw the palm tree and was like wanted to play with it she wants to open this so bad so i'm gonna let her open it and she it'll just be a toy for her really and then um i needed one of these for my sponges because mine is a year old and it's looking crusty and gross and then eleanor needed some body wash she didn't even smell it kids don't even care she just she was like this one's good I was like, don't you want to smell it? I don't know. She doesn't care. Nope, not like me. How much was this? Eight bucks? I got to tell you. Oh, uh, she's going to love that. I got to tell you, this was less than $8. I was so happy it was on sale. And I guess I had like points. What? I said, how did I get points? But you know what? There is someone else on my account that's using my phone number. It's not my phone. It's my phone number. And I'm wondering, like, she bought something? Oh, you know what it was? I bought Christmas gifts from Ulta. Okay, that makes sense, that's how I got the points. Okay, so ha Merry Christmas to me. I got $3 off of this thing, okay? Anyway, that is it, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out, seeing all the loot that I bought, all the random crap that I got. I'm gonna try on this bathing suit and cross my dang fingers that it fits. Is there bum coverage? Yeah, there's a little bit of bum coverage there. I also have like a black wrap kind of thing and I thought that would look cute with a sunflower. All right, fingers crossed anyway. Uh, that's it. Hey, I'm packing up all this stuff and I almost forgot to share this with you. I guess I got this for my bathroom. Those are my knees cracking. Bubble bath. It's DW. It's very mild scent. But I don't always like to light a candle in my bathroom. But I like to have a nice scent. So I thought these diffuser sticks would be a fantastic option. And the bubble bath scent was one that I've never seen before. So I don't know if it's new. But I really enjoyed it. They had a candle too. Which I almost got you. But I figured I got you enough candles. Okay. If you want to enter the giveaway, down there, okay? Comment. And if you stay till the end, why don't you comment who your first celebrity crush was? That's always a good one. All right, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.